What is denied by everyone but actually 100% real? The you in your head is not the you that everyone else knows sees. In fact, every single person has a different view of who you are. The biggest trip of this discovery for me was considering that my evaluation of myself might actually be the least realistic. It's your actions that define you entirely in other people's eyes, whereas my definition of self is based almost entirely on internal thoughts. If some most of those thoughts never translate into action, how real are they? We judge others on their actions and ourselves on our intentions. We physically judge people when we first meet them. The first thing we judge a person on is looks. Depending on that, we assume their character intentions. We have a saying in my home country people greet you based on your looks, and they dismiss you based on your intelligence. You are much more likely to believe whatever side of a story you hear first. Kids know this one for sure, that's why you gotta rush to the door when mom or dad gets home so you can tell your side first before your siblings. But I think most people that have had to deal with the police also know this. Whoever calls the cops first wins. So, years ago my best friend went on vacation out of the country, and I had no way to contact her. While she was gone I caught her boyfriend going to a club and trying to cheat on my friend with someone that I knew. I had no way to tell my friend in real time and had to wait for her to come back from her trip. I knew I had to get to her before the boyfriend got to her with some made-up story. The boyfriend knew he had to beat me to the punch, and he did. This motherfucker met her at the airport, and proposed to her before I could tell her what he was up to. Everyone is susceptible to bias. We all think it's something that just affects other people. People often brush off gut feelings as just random, but there's some real science that suggests intuition can actually lead us to good decisions. As I understand it, intuition is basically a computation made by the subconscious based on all our previous experiences. You are not immune to propaganda. When most people say, everyone, they are most likely seeking confirmation bias. Also false consensus effect. AKA, people assume their POV is the mainstream one more often than they should. That looks matter. Beauty is the number one or two best privilege in society. I'd say beauty is number two and knowing the right people is number one. Beauty helps to get to know the right people. Wealth is number one and it's not even close but beauty has plenty of benefits. Everyone is stereotyping and judging others constantly. It's human nature. A lot of psychological stuff in here, but I just wanted to mention that driving barefoot is legal in every state in the United States. Lots of people doubt me when I mention it. That the system someone lives in has an impacting influence on behavior. Being addicted to your cell phone. I have a few friends who use their phones for work, so I understand it partly but their face is staring at that screen constantly throughout the whole day, every single day. We're in some group texts, and they not only respond within seconds to everything, but they're posting all the time. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's literally what covers are for, so you can judge the book. Totally agree. If people shouldn't judge a book by its cover, why do publishing houses have marketing personnel and graphic artists? That they don't judge. Everyone judges, it's just a matter of keeping it in your mind or letting it out. I'm a teacher and they like to reiterate that we aren't in it for the money, but are in it for the kids. I guess that's true in crappy paying areas, but where I live, I'm there to be a good teacher for a sizable salary. Without the money, I have zero desire to teach kids. Anyone pushing the narrative that you shouldn't do a job for the money is entirely just interested in avoiding paying you. I'm glad you added this. I am definitely not a teacher but I hate this whole narrative of I would do this for free. Like me you need money to survive. Children don't bounce back quickly after a traumatic event, even if we like to think they do because they continue to function. Their brain just isn't yet equipped to deal with trauma, so handling the memory is delayed. That's how we get messed up adults who need therapy. Children react differently to trauma. Some react this way, and some really do just get over shit. We shouldn't tell all of them that they should feel traumatized just because they went through some shit. Just help the ones that actually are. That knowing your limitations is as important as knowing and cultivating your gifts. This. You can do anything. Rhetoric just messes with a kid's mind. I prefer to say. You can learn anything. 
because that seems more accurate to me. For example, I am 5 foot tall, but I always loved basketball as a kid. It would be foolish for someone to say I could do anything and become a professional player because the reality is my body is not really built for that, which is okay. I still played basketball for several years, learned a lot about the game and was pretty good at it. I think it's important to be realistic but not pessimistic about your goals in life. 2020 is four and a half years ago. The release of the first Pokemon games are closer to the breakup of the Beatles than the present day. SpongeBob episode where Patrick says, Is this mayonnaise? premiered before Billie Eilish and Greta Thunberg were born. The marriage and divorce of Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake are closer to the fall of the Soviet Union than the present day. There will be people legally voting in the USA presidential election this year that never saw the Twin Towers, never saw Destiny's Child as a group, and have never lived in a YouTube-less world. Time is crazy. It's not, is this mayonnaise? It's, is mayonnaise an instrument? When people talk about the mid-90s in my head I think, oh yeah, about 10 years ago. Social media making the world worse and causing mental health problems. Everyone knows this. People who are addicted or use it to make money disagree. That it sucks to be fat. Ask someone who was. I lost almost 200 pounds via dieting. The reason wasn't primarily to look better. It was because being morbidly obese is insanely uncomfortable. I was so happy to get my thigh gap back when I lost weight, not because I cared how it looked, but because having your thighs rub together all the time so so uncomfortable. You can't make everyone like you. There will always be someone who doesn't like you, for whatever reason, no matter how good or kind you are. You can be the sweetest peach on the tree, but some people just don't like peaches. That anyone can become disabled at the drop of a hat. The big pushback to this I see is the idea that keeping fit and eating healthy is some magic shield. Yeah, I did that too. And I'm an invalid now. You are the enemy in someone's story. They could have picked someone more impressive if I'm being honest. Everyone is not and cannot be beautiful. And that's okay. Imposter syndrome is real but often ignored. Many successful people feel like they're faking it, even though they have achievements to prove their skills. It's a common feeling of doubting one's own abilities. As a scientist, I made peace with it when I realized that apparently my greatest gift is an unholy trinity. One, I can pick up new things I know nothing about rather quickly. Two, I made quite some odd sideways moves in the fields I work in and expert at many, master at none, certainly applies to me as second thingy in the trinity. Three, easy talker with a probably can do that attitude completes the picture. I keep stumbling into things I find interesting, People let me get involved in them because my caffeine-induced ramblings apparently make them think I'm the person who can take it further Then it's time for the I'm in danger chuckle and the Wait, why do people entrust me with this? And apparently then somehow through the magic of my curiosity, sacrifices to the devil, and failing hard and fast I managed to fail forward. I gave up on worrying about it. It landed me a doctor title and a fun care so let's just keep doing what I do. But plenty of my friends have complained about the imposter syndrome, so I wonder how many keep it to themselves. I think it's super prevalent, but everyone is afraid to talk about it in fear of getting caught as the imposter. One example could be the idea that everyone has their own unique perspective on reality, even if they don't always acknowledge it. Everyone experiences and interprets the world differently, but this is a true and personal reality for each person. I think about this whenever I travel. I'll be on a train or walking through a town and zero in on an apartment or house window and think, who lives there? What is their daily life like? What life and cultural experiences have they had living here? It makes me much more empathetic and curious and thoughtful of others and the life they live. There's actually a word for this, Sander. It's the feeling one has on realizing that every other individual one sees has a life as full and real as one's own, in which they are the central character and others including oneself, have secondary or insignificant roles, kind of the opposite of main character syndrome? How you see yourself in the mirror is not what other people see. That's such a mind fuck. That your coworker's newborn baby is actually ugly as fuck. If nobody is perfect, then there is no, the one. You just have to decide if someone's pros outweigh their cons for you personally. That every human is flawed. 
Many people still refuse to accept this fact every time a discussion on humanity is brought up. No one is thinking about you. This is great news. People are focused on themselves and have a very small attention span for you. So live your life. Most people think child molest involves strangers, but it's actually mostly from someone they know or trust. What is denied by everyone but actually 100% real? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.